your radio with the finest music and the latest information. We are Nation Radio. Live across Glasgow and the West, this is Scotty McClue's Nightline on Nation Radio. Call Scotty now on 0141 811 0475. Don't forget the house rules. No offensive language or you'll get a lifetime ban. Ho ho! Hello me hearties! A very good Friday evening to you. And it is Friday evening, you see. Nothing gets past me. <laughs> welcome, 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 I say, to Scotty McClure's Nightline. Two hours of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for the nation right across central Scotland. Lovely to have you with us and dinky-doo. Now then, I hope you've had a great week. Ah, excellent. A moose loose, a boot this hoose. Scotty McClue with you through until midnight. We have to finish at midnight because the big bosses, the big bosses, have decreed that the shutter comes down, the bar shuts at midnight. So lots and lots to talk about. So don't waste a second in getting on the telephone and talking to me, Scotty McClue. Now, Scotty McClue's Nightline, for those of you who have just joined us, is obviously a phone-in programme. And you phone in, oh one. Four one eight double one zero four seven five. Fast becoming the best known telephone number in Scotland. Out with the emergency services. Make sure you've got that number down with the aid of a stub of a hard black pencil and a threepenny jotter with no batter beside your telephone, so that you are never without that number. It's always with you. Oh one four one eight double one zero four seven five. And what are we talking about tonight? Well, we don't give out subjects for you because I think we're all grown up and mature enough in central Scotland to discuss what we want to discuss. What I would like you all to do, though, is come on and um, pay a tribute to Sir Andy Murray, perhaps our greatest sporting ambassador ever. So there we are. Probably on a par with... um, with Eric from uh, from Chariots of Fire. There we are. That's what I would think. Yes, it's that sort of thing. A wonderful, wonderful ambassador for sport. And, of course, a wonderful, wonderful Scot. So there you are. So you want to do that? 01418 And I shall speak to you after this. We're off to the telephones. Barbarian! Luckily! Barbarian, how are you? And how we doing? Long time no speech, about three weeks. Three weeks is far too long, Barbarian. Don't you dare. Don't you dare leave it as long the next time. Aye, no, I will Do you know how? <laughs> I will do. <laughs> that, that, that's what kept me up. What hey, kept hey, you up? Eh? Hey, hey, what kept hey, you up? Eh? Hey. Hey. What have you got to say? What have you got to say? What have you got to say, what have you got to say Barbarian? <laughs> yes, are you gonna are you gonna run me through with your broadsword? <laughs> <laughs> now listen, where have you been, Barbarian? Because people have been asking for you. I I don't I don't know if I know all been asking for me, I you, you haven't been in you haven't you been in the big hoose, have you? <laughs> I've not done it back to No, no. You've got to eat no, no. the back to I'll give you a big hoose. <laughs> hey, I'll give you a big hoofty, my A big hoofty? A big hoofty. Well, I'll give you a big shifty. <laughs> <laughs> you give me a big shifty. <laughs> You're a big dafty. I'll keep it back when you speak to you here, Michael. You'd better, right? We'll be expecting you back with a big, with a big apology just for being you. Right? You. <laughs> I never get that, my right, I'll say it again for the heart of thinking. A big apology just for being you. Tinky do la la. 
Right, that's the barbarian. How tough does he sound, I say? If you just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're listening to Scotty McClue. We're live on Nation Radio for you. This is the big one. The one everyone's listening to. The one everyone is talking about. Back to the telephones, Hamish. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Hamish. How are you getting on? <laughs> Thank you. He was a wild man, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, the barbarian. You maybe didn't hear him. You'd be waiting to come on. <laughs> oh, what a man. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Now, listen, how's your week been? Not too bad, Scotty. All right. Uh huh. Down to the dentist for a set, a set of wallies and got measured up, you know. You get measured up. Actually, you'll not need much in the wally. Uh, in the Wally Stakes, I don't think. No. Uh, <laughs> I've, got about, I've got about ten teeth, Scotty. I'm, well, no, you... Well, I'm Go on. Seven, Scotty. Oh, well, I think you've done very well. I mean, I went to the dentist, Hamish, and he says to me, your teeth are lovely, Scotty. And I said, thank you very much, he says, but your gums will have to come out. <laughs> 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 That's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so there we are. Wonderful. Now then, what's happening in the real world, Hamish? How is your musicianship? No, too bad, Scotty. I'm going to do The Lord's My Shepherd tonight. Oh, wow. I can't believe you've said that. I think you and I must be septic. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you for why it came into my mind tonight. The Lord's my shepherd; I'll not want. <clears throat> Crimmond. Crimmond, yes. Psalm twenty-three. Yes. See, I'm not just a pretty face, you know, Hamish. Oh, very knowledgeable, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> now then, now then, the Lord's my shepherd. I'll just introduce you. Are we ready? Yes. Right, Scotty. Right, here is Big Hamish on the Moothy Folks with the Lord's My Shepherd. Absolutely spot on. Fantastic. Now, you'll know this, Hamish, but I'm not sure if the rest of the nation will know. You used to get a book and it was split with little half top pages. Mm -hmm. And the bottom page, and I don't know if you've seen one of these, and on the bottom page was the numbers and the words of all the psalms and hymns and paraphrases. Let's not yes. forget the paraphrases. Yes. And at the top were all the different tunes, and you had long meter and short meter and common meter. Mm -hmm. And the common meter tunes, anything... <coughs> would actually go that was in common meter would go with any of the common meter psalms. Yes. So for the Lord's My Shepherd, you played Crimmond. Quite often yes. you, you would have it to um, Wiltshire, to Stracathro, mm -hmm. to all these, all these different ones, the Lord's yes. My Shepherd. And I'll give you an example, Amish. I mean, you'll know this, but a lot of the nation won't know this. <clears throat> Say we took something like the Rowan tree. Yes. That's in common meter. Yes. So there you could go, The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want, He makes me down to lie. In yes. pastures green He leadeth me, The quiet waters by. Yeah? 
So, now you know all this, but as I say, it might be a bit of a revelation for the nation. Common meter and long meter. Scotty, would you like round three played in out? Yes, I would love that. Thank you. Here we go again then. <coughs> Thanks, Hamish on, on the Missy with Rowan Tree. wonderful Hamish thank you very much indeed very much appreciated and I'll, I'll, I'll request yes of course for Annette and a Paul Kate is sitting listening to you now up there in that uh, party in party uh, my love to you Annette and my regards to uh, Kate and Charlie and man Charlie through in Cumberland Old and fantastic big Hamish and Priest Hill and uh, Liz uh, Send my regards to him as well. I will indeed, Hamish, and, and regards to you, and I hope all is well with you, and we'll catch up again soon. Okay, Scotty, cheers. Cheers, Hamish, thank you, do. Right, there we are, big Hamish from the Drum Chapel in Glasgow on the Muthy with the Lord's My Shepherd to Psalm 23, the Lord's My Shepherd to Crimmond, and then the Rowan Tree, and a wee bit of chat about common metre in uh, hymns and psalms and paraphrases. There you go. A bit of good Scottish chat and uh, something that was very, very rich in Scottish music. <coughs> and in the days before radio and television, whenever they got together and sang, they used to sing these old psalms and hymns. And the organ was brought into churches to attract young people. What about that? 01418110475. My clue is not just a pretty face, you know. Um, if you want to come on and have a chat with me, grab your telephone and let's hear from you. And I want to know where you're listening to Nation Radio. Nation Radio is Scotland's newest radio station. It's a fantastic radio station. And the Scottish people have just taken it to their hearts. They've gone, Nation Radio, come along in. Because obviously radio in Scotland has been very, very poor for the last 20 years. And uh, since Scott FM, which was Scotland's finest radio hour, and uh, Nation Radio, the advent of Nation Radio, has brought back quality to the Scottish airwaves. And we love that. To your telephones, 0141 811 I'd like you to come on and pay tribute to the wonderful Sir Andy Murray, who has announced that he may soon be retiring from professional tennis. So there we are. Remarkable man, wonderful ambassador for sport and an ambassador for Scotland. Steph! Hello there, Scotty. Uh, Hello, how are you? Not too bad. I heard you asking for a tribute to the brilliant Andy Murray. Yes! Um, I can tell you a wee story about that one, Scotty. Um, yes. I was fortunate um, when Andy was world number one. Mm -hmm. um, I was asked by a Facebook friend to pen a poem about Andy Murray after Wonderful. I did a nice piece in Andy called King of the Courts. Wonderful. A poem about Andy. Um, and other Facebook friends get back and tweeted Judy Murray um, to see if Judy would possibly sign some copies, which... Uh, sorry, Andy would possibly sign some copies, which he was happy to do. I auctioned them in my Glasgow Cabbie Facebook page and raised a further £1,200 for Glasgow Children's Hospital Charity. Fantastic. Would you like Fantastic. To hear a, 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 would you like to hear a recital of this poem? I would love to hear a recital of the poem, Steph. Thank you. Well, here you go. It goes like this, Scotty. King of the courts, we'll shout from castle tower and sing your name out loud. Andy Murray, number one. 
you've done your country proud. A loving husband, doting father, a son with a famous brother. You took to tennis easily with the guidance of your mother. The talent always shone on top of dedication. You're now a global icon and a massive inspiration. Now king of the courts, ace of the base, the one your rivals fear. When you set foot on Wimbledon, you'll hear the greatest cheers. You now dictate the pace. The power came with age. You know you have the tools to win and center coach your stage. We want to see a statue of the great Scott on his game. A hero born in Glasgow and brought up in Dunblane. Arise, Sir Andrew Baron Murray. Your supporters are awaiting to see the legend take a bow for more joyful celebrating. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Steph. That is outstanding. Fantastic. We need to give you a big round of applause. The nation will be applauding. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Scott. It was great because I offered in Blaine Primary School the last framed, signed copy of that poem. They were How lovely. And in September 2017, I went up to the primary school and gifted it to the head teacher at assembly and recited it in front of 500 children and teachers, which was one of the highlights of my poetry. How lovely, how absolutely fantastic. I had a bit of a smile this week because there's a picture of Andy um, going on court and uh, a gentleman from Washington, uh, 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 Washington, D.C., shouting out, Dinky-doo, Andy, from Scotty McClue. And it's out on Facebook. I couldn't believe it. And I'm sure it'll go viral. I really do. You know, um, it, it, just incredible. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, Scotty. Keep up the good work. Enjoying your show. Lovely to hear you, Steph. And dinky doola. Fantastic. Is that not beautiful? Folks, if you want to come on and pay tribute to the great Sir Andrew Murray, Andy Murray, our uh, wonderful ambassador for Scotland, do feel free to do so. Telephone number 01418 Scotty McClure is my name. I am the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster and the world's most humble man, of course. And uh, as I say, a wonderful thing happening this week on Facebook. I just, it came through uh, last night and uh, it's a gentleman in America from Washington, D.C., shouting across to Andy Murray, Dinky do Andy, from Scotty McClure. I thought that was quite fabulous. Off to the telephones. Who do we have here? John, Scotty. John, how are you getting on, la? Not bad, mate. How's yourself? I am outstanding. Just talking about uh, Andy Murray. Uh, I've I seen him on the news tonight. <coughs> uh, and... Uh, they were talking about how he's given up on his tennis. He's, he's thinking about retiring, yes. Aye. Well, they were talking about tonight on the Scottish News, Scotty, about him maybe becoming a PE teacher. Uh -huh. He'd become a PE teacher. Yes. Instead of giving up, because he's, he's, he's good at he's, he's good at that. That's what they said in the news tonight. How fabulous would that be to have Andy Murray as your PE teacher? I Miss, Mr. Murray. Yes. That <coughs> would be good, Scotty. I wonder what you'd call him in school. I wonder if you'd call him Sir Andrew, Sir Andy, Mr. Murray, Sir. I don't know what you'd call him in school. It'd be interesting. It would be interesting, Scotty, to see what it was calling me. But I don't think we should give up yet. I think we should maybe take a wee break and maybe come back. In a couple yes. Of Yes, well, I don't think he's, he's certainly, as there's a great saying that I have, the winner never quits and the quitter never wins. And uh, I think Andy Murray is certainly no quitter. I mean, he's, he's in a lot of pain and discomfort a lot of the time um, with his hip. And um, he, he plays on and it's fantastic, but he obviously deserves to have a bit of leisure time and what have you. 
And okay. somebody was texting tonight and saying, you know, he's, he's, he's got money, he could retire. That's nothing to do with it. When you are a professional, it doesn't matter how much money you've got. That's nothing to do with what you do with your life, you know what I mean? But this has went viral, Scotty. This has went viral. I mean, on, on the internet, it's went viral. Wonderful. On the internet and all this. And, but I don't think you should give up yet. I think maybe you should take a wee break then, maybe come back to Wimbledon or something, you know what I mean? Yes, absolutely. Yes, come back and, and, and have another go. Because he has an internet sensation, Scotty. Has a, he has oh, a fantastic. He's a legend. But he's a fantastic guy as well. You know, a lovely person. And, uh, and I think everybody feels they know him. Oh, for goodness sake. That's very kind of you, John. <laughs> yeah, you're not an expectation enough, Scotty, so... And, um, what I mean? It makes it to you, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, no, I was chuffed when I saw that last night. That chap shouting over to Andy Murray. Thank you, do Andy from Scotty McClure. <laughs> Scotty McClure, man, the legend in the making. Scotty McClure, Scotty McClure the legend. Oh, wonderful. Listen, yeah, lovely to talk to you, John. You can't even beat Scott McClure on a Friday night, man. I, I just sat there this night. I said to myself, I'm going to sit there this night to Scott McClure night because he's. Brilliant. Of course, that's what we do. We listen to Scotty McClure. That's why we do it, you know what I mean? The man with the tartan bonnet. The man with the bonnet done it, I say. <laughs> I love you, Scotty, man. Uh, love you lots, John. You are a top man. Scotty, yes. I've got a new Facebook page, so I need to add you on my new Facebook page. Is that right, Scotty? You'd better, yes, absolutely, yes. I'll, I'll, I'll send you a wee send request. Excellent. Excellent, John. Hey, we love you, Scotty. Love you lots, and dinky do. Dinky do, you know, Scotty. Thank you, duty here and all. There we are. That's our John. To the telephones, 01418110475 is the telephone number. Lots to talk about tonight and so little time to do it in. Get to your telephones. The wizard of the big switchboard will take your call and he will sign for the daft. We are stout out the door and step it foo, but never let that deter you from calling. Scotty McClue's Nightline, live on Nation Radio, 96.3 on the FM. Back with you after this. Welcome to Glasgow's newest radio station. We're Nation Radio, and this is what we do. We play the finest music, old and new, to keep your feet tapping whenever you tune in. We've got your favourite presenters to keep you entertained all day and all night. Plus, we've got the news, weather, traffic and sports information so that you'll always know what's happening across Glasgow and the West. And did we mention the music? Glasgow's newest station is Nation Radio. Evenings with ScotchWhiskeyAuctions.com The world's largest online whiskey auction. Hashtag don't lose your bottle. Scotty McClue's Nightline. Nightline. Scotty McClue's Nightline. Nation, Nation Ah, yes, indeed. You're listening to Scotty McClure. We're live on Nation Radio. You've got me mid-typing. I'm just on Facebook here, and I'm putting, join me live on Nation Radio 96.3 FM. There we are, and uh, we'll see if we can get people sorted out there. So there we are. I've just set that out right now and that's gone out on Facebook. Dinky do. And if all of you can go on to Facebook, you can go on to Scotty McClue's Facebook and start sharing. Fred. Hello, Scotty. How are we? How are we getting on, Fred? Lovely to hear you and dinky do. And the CV, you, my old son. Aha. Excellent. What's hey. happening in the real world? Well, Scotty... I was watching your show last uh, Friday and Saturday, mm -hmm. and I was disappointed with the, the girl from Dundee, Carol. Yes. An old, an old friend of your, your, your show. Yes. And what was disappointing you? I thought she was agreeing with everything you said. And she was. But why would that be a disappointment? Well, Scotty, I would rather listen to you and your 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 show rather than having Carol and uh, her on your show. I thought she was a disappointment last week and the week before. And the but week why why would she be a disappointment? What were you What were you looking for? What were you What were you wanting to hear or say? 
Scotty, I heard her ten years ago when you uh-huh. were in, when, when you were at your pump. Yes. And so what, what's wrong it. with that, though? I mean, there's quite a few people have come and joined us twenty years on. Scotty, I've been a friend of yours for the last fifteen, twenty years myself. Right, well, yes. there you are. So you should know what it's like that people like to stay around. No, Scotty, I think Carol's uh, outworn her, her worth, and I think you should move on, to be honest. Move on? But what do you mean, move on? Well, what do you mean by that? Do you mean take another call and don't take Carol's call? I don't mean Carol, but... Every time she says, oh, I agree with you, Scotty, I agree with you, Scotty, I agree with you, Scotty. Well, then she does. I mean, that's fine. You're allowed to agree with Scotty. You don't have to disagree with everything I say. Scotty, come on, we're in the real world now. What about Brexit? Does she agree well, with Brexit. you? Well, Brexit... Well, I've, I've actually said this week, I mean, I, as you know, I'm no political animal. I am apolitical. I don't take sides. I don't have oh, any agenda. But what I would say, what I would say is I, I would, I, if, if, I, if I was anything to do with politics, I would put a stop to that Brexit right away. Scotty, I've listened to you for the last 10, 15 years, and you're talking the same old rhetoric Part the same old rhetoric. Brexit wasn't around ten or twenty years ago. Boy, well, it was. If it wasn't ret- if it wasn't Brexit, it was Maggie Thatcher. It was yes. Queen. Yes. And the rest Quite of right. All that rhetoric. Oh, we must. Well, that's not rhetoric. That's that's important information for people who may be of low intelligence. So that's that's your common denominator. No. What we want to do, we inform, educate, and entertain. Now, if we've got people who are of low intelligence and are are, are easily, you know, bought by xenophobia or something like that, and they think, you know, you hear them talking about, oh, we want our country back, they don't know what they mean by that. But you're going to educate the... Yes! Yes, that's... Yes, of course. What's wrong with that? Why can we not have a radio programme that informs, educates and entertains? What's wrong with that? If you allow me to speak, I've got got the courtesy of phoning you tonight. Yes. So, what's your uh, perception? But I want you to talk talk a bit of sense here, because all you've done is come on and moan and whinge. And we're not actually a whinging. Oh, very good, Scotty. Right. Do you like so, that? So, what's your perception of uh, Alex Hammond and Nicola Sturgeon? Uh, the I wouldn't even I wouldn't even go there because that at the moment I, is is being sorted out by uh, people who have a proper understanding of the legal system and it is not for the likes of you and I and the rest of the nation to turn all that over until we have proper information. So that's why I wouldn't even discuss that with you. So what you're telling me you don't have a, a Scooby Doo. I've got a huge Scooby-Doo. Remember, I have a huge knowledge of economics, I have a huge knowledge of the law and the legal profession. I have all that. I have a a huge knowledge of politics, although I'm not a political animal. And, um, you know, I uh, could, could tell you this, that, and the next thing, but I am not prepared to discuss that. So you because that's not appropriate. You don't have the cojones. You've lost the political point, Scotty. What do you mean I've lost the political point? How can I possibly have lost a political point when I haven't no, made one? No, no, you're sitting here tonight talking to me and yes. you won't discuss what Nicola Sturgeon and Eric Gay Because we can't, we can't, we can't discuss that. How can we not? We can't discuss that because that is their business and it's not at a stage when it can be discussed on a public platform. Don't talk rot, Scotty. You I'm not are... talking rot. I'm telling you straight, that's the score. You have to trust me in this. 
So you now need to move on to something interesting. It sounds to me like you're the one that's uh, hanging about in the attic. Oh, Scott, if that's the way you want to talk... No, 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 that's not the way I want to talk. But I'm telling you, if you've got something interesting to say, then great, right? But something that you've got some knowledge of rather than tittle-tattle. So what, what would you like to talk about? I mean, you're, you're the, the, the guru of... Oh, I am the guru of talk radio. I am the guru of talk oh, radio. Oh. There is no other program in the UK at this moment that can even come anywhere close to what Scotty McClure is doing on Nation Radio right now. All right, OK. That, that Can't even fun. come close, and you know that. So yeah, don't... Okay. All right, OK, fair enough, that's fine. You know that is a fact. Scotty, you are absolutely talking at your... Yeah. No, no, yeah. not at all. I am giving you the facts and you don't like it. What's the fact? I am taking got? you, I am yeah. taking you out of your Three comfort ways. zone. What, what facts have you got? Right, tell, okay, tell me this. Are you for or against Brexit? I'm against Brexit. Right, good. There we are. So you and I are in full agreement. Are you, are you, are you a, a, bo, a, a bojo? A what? A bojo. Boris Johnson's... Uh, I'm not on anything. No, no, I don't pander to any of these people. I'm oh, too I'm too interested I'm in the future confused. of my right. country, right? Oh, there are yeah, four countries yeah. at stake yeah, here. Yeah, there, yeah. Are, there are the lives of 70 million people at stake, and heaven knows how many million abroad, and how many other countries. This is not something... Just a minute. This is not something... 65, Scotty. 65 what? Million. Rather than... 70. 70 million. million. No, Sorry? 70 million. It's very close to Where 70 million. From? 17 million out of 70 million. Listen, listen, listen to me. 17 million out of 70 million decided... Two and a half years ago, on on just a minute, just a minute, on an opinion, on just a minute, just a minute, on an opinion poll to leave the EU. Two and a half years later, we're still comfortably in the EU, right? And they've been back and forward and back and forward. Now they're talking about Mrs. May doing a terrible job. I think she's done an excellent job because we're still in the EU. That's a result. Are you really threatening out your box, Scotty? No, I'm Can telling you the it? fact. I'm giving you the facts, oh, and you're not taking them because you're a dafty. Votes on Tuesday, and we're going to be leaving... Brexit. Right. No, no, we'll not be... Listen, we'll are not be leaving not, anything. Are, we'll not be not, leaving anything, right? Not. 29th of March, we'll not be leaving anything. They might as well so move that going, date forward so to the 1st so of so April and we leave before eight. lunchtime. Oh, for goodness sake, Scott. You really want See, to you see. don't know what you're talking about. Oh. That's what I was oh. trying to get to when you were trying to talk about stuff you don't know about. I've just oh, proved you to you you don't, don't know about this. What do you mean I don't know stuff I'm talking about? I think... Well, you're, you're calling me, you're calling me, you're calling me daft because I'm telling you the truth. If that's the way you deal, I don't want to talk to you any longer. So stick out your tongue and say ta-ta, pa-pa, la-la. Right, there we are. What a dafty. To the telephones, 01418110475. It's simple mathematics for goodness sake. Scotty McClure's Nightline. We're live on Nation Radio just for you, dinky do. 96.3 in the FM or www.nationradio.scot. How fantastic is that? To the telephones, we're very, very busy. We've got a lot to get through tonight and we've only got until midnight. Now, if you are a half-witted idiot, please do not come on and waste my time. If you've got something nice to say, that would be wonderful. If you want to, uh, if you want to talk about Sir Andy Murray, no problem at all. Eddie, hello there, Scotty. Hello there, Eddie. That man talked a lot of sense. Talked a lot of nonsense. Have you got your radio up, Eddie? 
You've been told time and time and time again. You're a man who can't even turn his radio down when the Wizard of the Big Switchboard has told you. That is shocking. You still got it up? Put it off. Right. Now. That man. That man was a half-wit. He spoke a lot of sense. No sense at all. He really had your notes. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, what have I told you about coming on here when you're not sober? I'm absolutely sober, actually, Scott. And you've still got your radio turned up? No. You can't be trusted? No, it's my TV. Sorry. Hold on, I'm the doctor. Hold on. Well, you need to do all that before you come on. Don't come on and waste time. Right. Don't. <coughs> No, right. I think we'll say cheerio yeah, yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah. Right. Cheerio. 0141 0475. There we are. A time waster. We don't have time for that because we've only got the two hours and we have so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. 0141 0475. Phone me and tell me where you're listening from because Nation Radio goes far and wide and I'd like to know where you're listening from. So there we are. I got it, as I say, on the top of the Queen's Ferry Crossing. All right, a little bit of shush shush round there, but 96.3 Queen's Ferry Crossing, and I could hear it in Kirkcaldy as well. I like that. Kirkcaldy, the Lang Toon. So there you go, fantastic. We got a call one night from Alawa, another call from just outside Oban. We got a call from North Connell. We're going to call from Sky. Sky, admittedly, they were listening online. www.nationradio.scot. Uh, and you're listening to Scotty McClue's Nightline. Now, a little word about Nation Radio, of course. 96.3 in the FM. Fantastic, outstanding music. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. With the exception of a Friday, Saturday and Sunday between 10 o'clock sharp and midnight, we have my good self with Scotty McClure's Nightline. This is because Scotland wants to talk. Scotland needs a voice. They haven't had one for far too long. They haven't had a voice for 20 years. And uh, here we are, Scott McClure's Nightline. Since the days of Scott FM, Scotland's finest radio hour. Tremendous stuff. 0141 I don't know if you saw that uh, Sir Andy Murray um, is thinking in uh, retiring from professional tennis in uh, a while. So there we are. Now, um, I don't think he's a man who will at all give up but um, he's uh, in, in a lot of pain and discomfort from his hip and uh, I think he deserves a rest but what a fantastic character so if you'd like to come on and pay tribute to Andy Murray please do that and of course if you're looking through Facebook and you're on Scotty McClue's Facebook you will see um, and I've also sent it over to Nation Radio Scotland their Facebook as well you will see that um, a wonderful fan Shouted across to Andy Murray. Dinky do, Andy, from Scotty McClue. So look out for that. In fact, what I'll do, I'll uh, just go on right now and I'll send that round for you as we speak. And if you can go on to, uh, you'll get this one on Scotty McClue's page. So you should be able to see that. Um, and uh, it's a Scotty McClue fan that is calling over Hi. So there we go. That's Scott. We come on. If you're coming on, we have a civil tongue on our head and we talk properly to Scotty McClue. Uh, Scott should actually have come on and perhaps address me as Sir. So there we are. But off he goes. He's gone. And, uh, and that's the end of that. So there you are. So remember if you're coming on, a civil tongue in your head and uh, a proper form of address to Scotty McLoon. To the telephone, though, as quickly as possible, 0141 811 0475. If you want to come back on, Scott, and behave yourself, that will be wonderful. Scotty McLoon with Scotty McLoon's Nightline on Nation Radio just for you. Dinky do. Welcome to Glasgow's newest radio station. We're Nation Radio. 
and this is what we do. We play the finest music, old and new, to keep your feet tapping whenever you tune in. We've got your favourite presenters to keep you entertained all day and all night. Plus, we've got the news, weather, traffic and sports information so that you'll always know what's happening across Glasgow and the West. And did we mention the music? Glasgow's newest station is Nation Radio. Evenings with ScotchWhiskeyAuctions.com, the world's largest online whiskey auction. To get happy, download our app, ScotchWhiskeyAuctions.com. Scotty McClue's Nightline. Nightline. Call Scotty now. 0141 811 0475. Love music. Love Scotland. Yes, indeed, you're listening to Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. We are live on Nation Radio. Scotty McClure's Nightline, to your telephones as quickly as possible, and let's have opinion from you. What do you think about the news that the great Sir Andy Murray is thinking in retiring from professional tennis. That man has been a wonderful, wonderful ambassador for Scotland. Tremendous stuff. And as I say, get yourself on to Scotty McClure's Facebook page and see that incredible one. It just came through last night. And it's a gentleman from Washington, D.C. calling over to Andy Murray. It's well worth a look. I think it may well go viral. Stephen! Think you do, Scotty McClure. Think you do, Lala. How are you? Not bad, buddy. How's yourself, mate? Not bad. Remarkable for my age, I'll tell you that, Stephen. Now then, what's happening? 34... Oh, he's just got cut off. He didn't mean to get cut off. He cut himself off, folks. I did not cut him off, I assure you. So there we are. Anyway, that means that somebody else moves up the queue. It's wonderful. A move up for everybody. 01418 If you're not phoning Scotty McClure right now, ask yourself why. And uh, grab a telephone and get ringing. Because we want as many people in Scotland as possible to get on while there is a window on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday night. There should not be a peep of air between hearing your various views. So I'm sure you've all got something to say and you have absolutely zero excuse for not phoning me because I'm an old pal, I've been around a long time and um, you can discuss all sorts of interesting things. 0141 Eight double one zero four seven five. As for these two grumpy, grumpy people we had on earlier, if you're coming on, remember you must keep a civil tongue in your head because we're guests in people's houses. Very, very important. All right, zero one four one eight double one zero four seven five. Also, do you think that feminism may be damaging? the joy of relationships right so there we are you hear a lot of women talking about unwanted male attention i'm quite sure there's also an equivalent amount of unwanted female attention going on out there but should we fill in a form if we're wanting to be at the one to buckle my shoe with somebody should you fill in a form and box tick and then get both people to sign it at the bottom so that you've actually got a, a fun voucher or a love voucher there we are 01418110475 01418110475 and it's interesting that guy saying he's listened to me for years and he knows my views on things my views can change in seconds right they can change in minutes they can change in weeks and i doubt i have the same views now as i used to have because it's very important as we get uh, more and more mature we do more and more learning hopefully except 
that was disproved by a couple of our earlier callers. They uh, didn't seem to be spring chickens, and yet I don't think they've learned very much. I don't think they've learned very much. Uh, informing, educating and entertaining the nation, that is Scotty McClue's job. And that's what we do on here on Scotty McClure's Nightline. If Carol's listening from Dundee, do not let that deter you from ringing Carol. You come on. Whether you agree or disagree with me, it doesn't matter. He was annoyed because you'd agreed with everything I said. Well, quite right too. 0141 Would I not be right in thinking that all of you agree with Scotty McClue. Stephen! Scotty, I've eventually got through to you again. You did, Lala. Nice to hear you. It is good to hear you. Hey, Scotty, what I'm phoning up for, mate, is getting on today with Andy Murray, mate. What I'm mm. phoning up for, mate, I just would like your opinion, mate, and all the fatties out there, mate. The fat people out there, people who are obese. Yes. I would like to see people buddy up to obese people. Now, by saying that, what I mean is perhaps knock the door of the obese person's house, rat -ta tat tat and say, would the obese person like to come out for a walk? And start exercising these people so I that they start, do you know what I mean, to lose a bit of weight? Aye, uh, Scotty, I was just coming here from my work the other day, mate, and the, it's just when I seen the Wayne's going to school, and I'm like, oh, all these sides of the Wayne's, man, it's ridiculous, what's their parents giving them? Yeah, they're giving them too much junk food. Uh, too I much too salt much and too much and sugar. And too much internet, yeah, so they're not getting out on their bikes, they're not playing peaver and hopscotch, they're not running, they've not got hooplas, they're not putting down oh, their jackets sure. and having a game of football. Uh, you see what I mean? Yes, yes. So absolutely. So no, I would say we should have strict guidelines, but lots of the parents are obese as well. Aye, aye. Their BMI is way over. And I think what we're needing to do is get more exercise and also cut down in the portions. You see, people like order a giant pizza. Now that's too much for a couple of people. Uh, do you know what I mean? So I think that's I what we do. Take the obese people out for a walk. Be neighbourly. See what we can do for them. Uh, but Scott, do you don't think I know about making people of that size, but they don't like to go out and like to be seen that size? No, they don't like to go out, but I think we can help them by taking them out. I think I'd be more, if I was obese, I think I'd be happier to go out with a chum than go out on my Todd. No. You're with me. That's what I'm saying. Lovely to talk to you. Listen, I'm going to have to dash because we're stowed at the door and stab it through. But thanks very much for your call. 0141 811 Dinky do to you, I see. Mr. Jax. Hello, Scotty. Listen, can you hear me all right? I can hear you as clear as a bell. I could hear you in Kilmarnock. Well, do you know something, Scotty? I am pleased I go to your radio station by accident today. I didn't ah. know you were on the line. The last time I spoke to you was on Scott FM. Brilliant. Scotland's yes, finest radio hour up until now. Well, I'm going to say something. I'll be listening to you on a, what are you on, on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 10 o'clock sharp through until midnight. Well, I'm really, really pleased about this because it brightens up my life. Oh, bless you. What a lovely thing to say, sir. What a lovely thing to say. Now, tell me, tell me, where are you phoning from? I'm Not exactly, from just roughly. Fricantine. Fantastic. Yes. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm so glad I'm you a, found Nation Radio. I'm in a show with accommodation, Scotty. Excellent, yes. I know, I know and, where uh, you are. Well, can I say something to you? Every hmm. night when you're on Scotty FM, a rush team... Every every night, put the toast on and listen to you. Sometimes I've got a banner with you. Yes, you of course. I remember this, Scotty. I got a wee bit cocky with you one night in a nice way. Yes. I says, take off the MC, you've not got a clue. You see, you're going to sue me, Scotty. Right, right, excellent. Now, there we go, you see. It was a joke. 
you know, but uh, I was talking about you today in uh, one of the health centres in Bristol, and the lady <sighs> down there miss you. And I was That's telling fantastic. my buddies on a, a, a night line. I don't know what one it is. I says, but there's a wee woman come on one night the uh, the Liverpool, and she says, Scotty, I'm sitting here. What's happened? You're not you're not down here no more. I'm sitting Sit. here in my tart and pickles. <laughs> I remember. Do you remember that? I you do remember, remember it, yes. See, what yeah, people I didn't realise, when I left Scott FM, right, and we don't know why I left Scott FM, but certainly nothing I said or did, I can tell you. So I don't know what well, was going on. I'm you know, just happy you're back there. I'm just happy you're back on, because I've got three nights, Friday, Saturday and Sunday enjoyment for 10 to Fantastic. 12. 10 to 12? Yeah, we've had a couple on tonight. Hi, with we a couple on tonight. No, don't worry about them, actually. They're just dafties. You see, I just on Sunday. The guys were on the press. Things like that. So, I shouted in it to this wee woman. I says, I can't even mind the name, the, the number of the ham, but I know what it was. Jesus wants me for a sunbeam. Jesus wants me for a sunbeam. Yes. Sunbeam and a very fine sunbeam I am. Absolutely. <laughs> well, lucky that's going. Everybody burst out laughing. She came up and she gave me two jelly babies. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. I swear this in my life. You're a character. I love to hear you, Scotty. I've got a bit of banner with you. Yes. You've never banged the phone in me. No, you'll be having a bit yes, more banter, Scotty. I'll tell you. Scotty, I was up at the barracks the other night and I seen your footprints and the, the, the stonework at the, at the bottom. Absolutely. I at attention. I stand at attention at the Mary Hill barracks. <laughs> uh, you weren't standing at ease because your foot were, your, they were, they were close together. Close together, we always stood at attention at the Mary Hill barracks. Scotty, can I ask you something? I know I might be cheeky here saying that, so I'm up in age myself. Uh, 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 yeah. What age Scotty? Can I ask you that? Uh, 34. Oh, well, I'll not ask you, okay. <laughs> right, Lovely Scotty. talking to you. Hey, a dinky do. <laughs> 0141811475, folks, to the telephones as quickly as possible. Rab! How you get on, Scotty? How you on, Lala? Are you okay? Yes, uh, can you hear me all right? Uh, I can hear you beautifully. Right. Um, you have you got me? your radio up? You'll need to turn your radio down, uh, Rab. Wait, hold on. Right. Guys, if you're coming on, the Wizard of the Big Switchboard will tell you, turn your radios down. We shouldn't be at this stage in the game now. Right. Hello, Rab. Right. Right, uh, Scotty. Um, um, could you... I've got I've got a radio up here in my greenhouse and I've got one in it turned the other one's turned up in the ah, kitchen. Yes. Uh, and my, my wife's watching I say I'll be on I'll be on the radio soon. She said I'd rather watch this. I'd rather watch she's got someone to tell it. Yeah, tell it, tell it, the telly should be off at 10 o'clock sharp on a Friday, right. Saturday, but, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday is Scotty McClue time on Nation Radio. See if, it, see if you can show, show here, show and see it, say, tell it to turn the, the, the telly down. Turn and, the uh, telly Rab's off. Absol that. Get Rab's radio on, absolutely. Rab's now still, then. Rab's still loves that. Uh, I've, um, she knows that. I don't know if you've got any, I don't you've got any family. No, I've got a 16 year old. Just give, I, I don't want to quick question you know, about any of that. You know, you can see it. You ah. can speak us. Yourself. Yes. Uh, I've got. This is my second time round with a family, right? Uh, right. The other ones, the other ones had uh, pro real problems. Uh, yes. But maybe this one as well. And uh, it, 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 as if I was there for the sort of help, uh, I'll look into it anyway, right? But I've got. Yeah. A, I've got. My, this is my second thing round it and doing it. I've got a daughter at forty, and I've got this one at sixteen, right, my daughter. And, Fantastic. Uh, She's always, but listen, she's always got the. I don't know if you've, if you've uh, uh, experienced this or no. Uh, she's always got the habit of butting in while they're talking. Yes. And uh, you know she. And, uh, I know what you're. I know what you're saying. Quite, it's, quite, it's, it's quite annoying. And my, my wife actually says that she's only just uh, co uh, trying to continue the conversation. I said, yeah, is she, is she, join, is she joining in the conversation or is she interrupting yeah. you? Interrupting. Right. 
Well, that's all right. We can do with a bit of interruption. But, um, Nobody gets a straight I run when they're talking sense. I think I'm going to be taking it too serious, you know, that the, the, uh, we end up fall, falling out, you know, because I just say, I say, I say, I say you've got to stop with that speech, just pure ignorance and that, you know. I don't worry about that. I once, had, I once had an argument with my father about nuclear power, and he's, he turned right. round to me, and do you know what he says to me? He says, I think this education's taking your garret. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think this education's taken your garret. He was a great you man. Know, he was an engineer. Was he? Did, did, did you did you get your, did you have a sense of humour? Oh, huge sense of humour, of course. For goodness' sake, you'd gone through every theatre of war in the Second World War. You'd have to have a right. sense did of humour to survive that. Right? The, the, you know how it affects people's brain. You know what do you call that? You get that when you see it your pal next to you getting blown up or something. Yes, you, yes, well he was a paratrooper, he saw the lot. Shell I, I shock done, I, and uh, and post traumatic stress. I, did they have that? No, he didn't seem to have that actually. They were but they were wonderful, do you know what I mean? I was I was in the I was, I took a para basic training in nineteen sixty eight. Mm. Para, I was down in Aldershot and uh, mm. oh, I'm, I wish I'd stayed in it, you know, but it wasn't, it wasn't meant to be. No, it wasn't for you. No, no, you're fine. Listen, don't wish anything was different than it actually is. This is where we're at now. That's right, that's right. See, see when I do that, see, sometimes I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, uh, you know, linger, you say you're not to linger too, don't linger on the past. Just the no, past don't linger past. in the past. The past is past. It's bought and paid for. Right. It's done. There's nothing but we can do about that. We can't change it. Sometimes I drift, I drift back to that and it's, it's you know, it's, it's, it doesn't do me any good, you know. But no, anyway, but there's nothing, uh, there's nothing uh, wrong with a wee bit of recollection, but put it to bed with a smile and say, oh, right, for heaven's right. sake, the things I've actually done. Do you that's know what that's I mean? Right. Uh, but some people can't do that because they're not, their brain's not, you know, I don't Well, they just need to it, train their brain, they need to train yeah, their right. brain to do that because uh, what matters is tonight and tomorrow. Right, that's right, that's right. That's what really, um, that's what really matters, tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. And if you think about that's it, it right. doesn't matter whatever you've got, whether it's a movie, whether it's a book, whether it's a radio programme, a television programme, a YouTube, it doesn't matter. What we're looking at, the theatre, what happens next? That's what that's we're right. interested in. That's what right, happens that's right. next? That's right. I can, use, I can use just quickly, right? Just quickly, I'm going to go there and let you go on. Uh, I was, I was, um, uh, sometimes you get any blips, you know what I said there about, oh, I wish I'd done this and that, but hmm. I, that's just that the way I talk, you know, but realistically, um, I, I'm, I'm here, I've, I've only got 24 hours like everybody else knows it, the full day. And mm. I, I feel as if that this, this is Friday again because I, I swear to God, uh, I did, I didn't have said to my wife, it doesn't feel like uh, it was last, you know, that was a, a week's past. And yes, I know, that's in a flash. See, see, when I'm not working, I'm not doing it, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I do the dishes, do the cooking, do I'm in the house, clean up, yes. uh, hoovering and all the rest of it, da, 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 and then I've got to lie down in between. But uh, see, see, realistically, I'm actually quite uh, happy with my lot. So uh, you should you're, be. You're the same. You're the same. But so you should be. You've done work. very well. No. You've done no. very well. No. And no. 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 the no. trick no. is to sit me. back and say thanks. One of, one of the things that bothered me, hmm. uh, because I've got a big nose, <laughs> people, I don't people Nothing wrong with nose. that. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> right, I'm there. I know, I know. <laughs> I mean, you know it you, then you can get a sense of what's happening. <laughs> no, you know what's happening at my lip? They've seen them chewing in my lips. I think, I think my gum, you said about your gums, I think my gums is shrunk because I'm chewing and my nose is touching my, my, the bottom of my, my top lip. <laughs> Best thing to really, do is stick, really. out your, stick out your tongue and say ta-ta, ta-ta. Thanks <laughs> <laughs> right. you soon, Rob. Okay, Lala. Right, there you are. To your telephones, folks, as quickly as possible. 0141 0475 is the telephone number. You're listening to Scotty McClure. We're live on Nation Radio just for you. Scott. Yes. Yes. How are you? How are you doing? Sorry for swearing a little. Right, no bother at all, right? It's just one guess some people's houses. You don't have to be a fan of mine. I would never cut you off if you don't like me. No, no, That's no, not no, a problem. No, no. It's not a popularity I contest. You know? Uh, so, right. Uh, 
What it is is to do with it was something that I was looking at the other day there, and it's to do with um, like the the government are actually giving leaflets through the doors in Pakistan to see they're going like that. Eh, well, you can come out of your country and you're getting this and you're getting that, and it, I'm going like that. What's that bloody hell? Mm-hmm. If you know what I mean. Uh, language, uh, language. Come on. It's really annoying. What, what, what are you, what are you actually saying to me? though? what's annoying? No, it's annoying because at the end of the day, they're, they're actually putting it through over in other countries. They're letting 